Hello everybody, Scrubs here, hoping you're having an amazing day today. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Max HUD in MX Bikes. So, first thing you want to do, head over to mxbikesmods.com. It's pretty much where you get almost everything for MX Bikes. And you're going to go up here to the other tab, and then hit plugins. And then right here you're going to find Max HUD. Go ahead and click on that. And then we're going to scroll down and we're going to hit the download button and wait for it to download. All right, so Max HUD is finished downloading now and we can go ahead and open up the uh, RAR file or the zip file. So we're going to get a folder called Max HUD. Go ahead and uh, click on that. And then for convenience, we're going to go ahead and drag this one. Yeah, we'll go ahead and drag this one onto our desktop. Go ahead and open that one. And then inside this folder, you're going to see a max head data folder. And then you're going to see a bunch, four different DLO files. So, what to do with those? You're going to go ahead and open up uh, Steam. Go to MX Bikes. And then right over here on this uh, gear, you're going to click Manage. And then Browse Local Files. This is going to bring you here. And then when you're here, there's going to be a plugins folder. You want to double click that. And then we're simply going to grab the max HUD data folder, drag it over. And then we're going to grab the max HUD underscore MXB64. Specifically that one. Um, all the other ones are made for different Piboso games. So make sure it says MXB64.DLO. That's the one you want. And that is everything you have to do to install it. Now let's show you how to how to actually use it. All right, so when you first load into a, uh, a track, you're gonna see this all over your screen. Don't freak out, here's how to fix it. Just hit caps lock on your keyboard. It's gonna bring up this, this menu right here. And uh, go ahead and, I like to just start by turning everything off. So just click on all these green symbols and then selecting the ones I want. So helmet, or I'll start with fuel. Fuel tells you how much fuel you have left. Helmet, uh, it kind of gives you a, a helmet overlay for realism. Uh, I mostly, I do this every once in a while when I'm bored, but for the most part, leave it off. I mean, it's all personal preference. You can have it on if you want. Inputs, this will tell you like how much you're leaning left and right and steering and all that. I like to leave that off. And we have a joypad, which tells you uh, where you're moving your sticks. I also like to leave that off. Lean, tells you how far you're leaning over. Uh, live gap bar, uh, that actually shows you how many seconds up or down you are uh, compared to your fastest lap. So it's good for running hot laps. I do like to leave that on. Map, map is one of the big things. And uh, how to customize it is you click on the word map. And where it says size, you can make this. Oops, you can make this as big as you want. Uh, so we'll go probably go like uh, 40. And then background, I like to hit no, rotate no, track width. You can maybe make that a little bigger. Border width. So yeah, that's how you do that. Radar. I think this shows where people are around you. I would assume I never use it. Uh, rumble. I believe this just makes your uh, your controller vibrate. Speed. Uh, this shows you how fast you're going, um, as well as what gear you're in. I tend to leave this off, but a lot of people have it on. And then standings. This is another big one. Let's make it even a little bit bigger. There we go. Put that right there and then background no and then suspension and timing I also leave both of those off oh no actually I do have timings on this tells you uh, all your lap times so very important so those are the ones I leave on and uh, that's how you use it so that's gonna do it for today's video thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the next one